Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're in Minecraft and we are going to be building. I'll let you give a quick hint. I'm just gonna give you a quick hint. No, that's not the redstone stuff. A sh shulker box unloader. Alright, so this might actually be kind of easy. Oops. So. We are going to use the new mechanic where... Right there. You know what? We're only going to do a two design, or two. Like that. Just to guarantee that it's all the way on. Alright, then from here. Oops. Want that, that, we're going to want Hopper Minecart. Also, if you're curious how to fly and crouch at the same time, just hold the crouch button and then hold the fly button and hold up the space bar. Okay, so this is entirely pointless. Okay, so... This rail system... can go anywhere you need it to. Like, this is just a basic design that just goes like that. So, all you have to do is really... Okay, so then there's a chest here. Okay, I'm just going to warn you now, this is going to be very loud, so. Shulker box. So, also keep in mind that in this system, there will be... The shulker boxes will join all the items wherever you send them. So if you send it to a sorting system, whoa, if you send it to a sorting system, 
then it will probably go into the out uh, extra. Okay, so now. Need that. I'm gonna break that. So then if there's anything in it, it should output a signal. Which then I'm gonna immediately boost with a repeater. Which then I'm gonna immediately swap with a torch. Then, I'm going to go back this way. I'm going to go into a piston. You know, we'll just start with the basics. If that's not detecting anything, then we have a sticky piston. Push an observer to complete an or to do an observer clock. So if there's nothing in it, that will be off. If there's something in it, that will be off. So then... You know, this would be, probably be so much easier in Scrap Mechanic because I actually know what I'm gonna, what I'm doing with Scrap Mechanic logic. Because if that's going, no, it's gonna have to be a sticky piston. Bam, bam. 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 Go around. Another swapper. that and I'm actually gonna divert the path a little bit to go out here if you 
do chest, chest. Bam, bam. Uh oh. That's a problem. So that had something in it, which means Okay, that's a problem. So, what we're doing here is this is on if that's off. Which means when that goes on, this stops giving power. Hmm? And then if nothing is going here or through this. One sec. Minecraft. Joker. Unloading. Unloader. Images. You know what? Idea. Idea. Okay. How many ticks does it take to unload a shocker. Shocker box. I don't understand this. But I have an idea. I have an observer. Sense when something happens to that. Go back down here. Where's that? In? It 
it unloads. Perfect. Now, if I put everything in here. Duplicate it a lot. Put that there. is going wrong. Okay, so how to make a tea flip flop in Minecraft. Gotta use a tutorial here. I just hope that I actually know what a, what a tea flip up is. Now, um, how to turn a button into a lever. Yes, that's what I gotta do. Okay, I'm watching a video. On every vacation. No, I don't want an ad. And at a verbal home, there's some. No! The Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a button work just like a lever. So By the way, I'm going to link the video that I'm watching. Into the description again, and it will turn back off again. And roughly, you should just turn on the starter. Dude, shut So, start grab yourself a block of choice as a wall. So, I'm going to use this cobblestone for that. You're actually going to need two blocks of cobblestone for this. Now, go down into your items and grab yourself one comparator and two hoppers, two bits of redstone, two redstone torches, and any pistons or anything like that. Yep. So you're also going to need one extra block of choice. Let's just grab all items. It doesn't really matter. Let's just grab a stick. Why not? So to start this thing off, you're going to need to place a block just here and build it up one. Then go out this way and up one, so it's like a little staircase, a bit like this. And I forgot the most important part. You're also going to need a button. So grab yourself that button, plop it on this block here. Then grab yourself your redstone torch and place two. Okay, we need a repeater for this. So it's that. Here. 
Okay, so it's that that goes into this. Okay, so now I have to observe. No, I don't. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Gotta power that. Go into that. Also, I'm sorry if you don't understand this at all. And that. Okay, so I want to say this is very compact. It takes everything out. working finally it's all working so again wait no it's not all working just yet and then I'm gonna need to put the minecarts In like that, but I'm gonna do two of them. Options, music and sounds. Uh, 
Oh, that's better. Yes. So this is a quick overview of how it works. So what happens is it's a chest that has a ton of shulkers in it that feeds into the dispenser, which then puts a shulker box here. And if there's something in the shulker box, it'll see that there's something in the shulker box. And it will cause this to turn on, turning this off, making this stop dispensing that, or else, it, well, this isn't needed. Or, yeah, this part isn't needed, but it's for the sake of sound. And this turns on when that's on. So when that's on, and this... Oh, I'm out of shortcut boxes now. And then, final touch, lever there, turn off the system. Turn off the system once all, all of your shortcut boxes are unloaded. That's everything. Except for some reason I'm missing stuff, but whatever. Oh, that's why. Yeah, it's going in here. Oops. Actually, I've had an idea. And there you go. That is your shulker box unloader. I'm just going to fill this up with a ton of random stuff. Alright, and I'm going to end the episode there. See ya.